All right, in this video, the update that I made to the template is on set C, we now have the ability to control Q levels. So these four top rotary knobs controlled the Q level. Now, you do have to, if I'm not mistaken, turn the Q on. Yes. I don't have, there's not enough buttons to turn the Q on or everything. So you have to do that manually in the software. But once you turn the Q on, whatever channel you select, you now have Q volume, okay? Also on set B, you know on set B, Encoder 1 turns your metronome on and off. Encoder 2 controls the level of the metronome. Encoder 3 controls your control room, as you see there, the volume of the control room. But I added encoder number 4 to scroll through the channels, whether you're in the arranger window or even if you bring up the mixer, you can now scroll through channels using encoder number four on set B. I found this to be more, um, how should I say, more, it's faster basically to get to stuff. All right. And of course, you still have your faders. Now also I made it so that uh, I noticed if you had inputs, the inputs would take up one of these channel slots where I made it to where even if you add more inputs, take away all the inputs, channel one will always be channel one. Okay. And the way this thing works is it basically, as the mixer expands, things get reassigned. So if you have a session that is less than 32 tracks, these buses and effects may become part of the fader, um, part of your fader bank, okay? And also I notice when using general MIDI, general CC, sometimes the settings don't come up all the same every time. Um, I am trying to learn the language to do OSC and Mackie Huey. I know that's going to require like a, a piece of software to go between the mixer and Cubase in order to convert general CC MIDI into Mackie Huey commands. Once I do that, then everything will um, be beautiful. So if you haven't downloaded the latest version, go ahead, log in, well, you already log in. If you're looking at this video, um, you'll be you'll have access to it. If if this video, if I put this video on YouTube, then just log in over at funnels.producerroderick.com and forward slash members, and you'll be able to log in and get this latest update. This update, I'm only going to provide it for uh, those that that support me by, you know, buying the, buying the template. It's your purchase of the template that makes, helps me to stay motivated and to stay on top of it. Again, this is just for controlling Cubase using your main faders and Without, you know, using the remote doll. Yes, it does have a remote doll. You can use that. But I want to be able to use the functionality of the entire mixer. So I want to I want to be able to put my hands on it. You know what I mean? I want to be able to put my hands on the mix. And then I can hit that bank right there. And then I can do, you know, 17 through 32. And again, you can go through and select the channel. Uh, and then from there, you can do channel edits. And I think even when, 
let's go back here. Even when you're in, if you got channel edit up and you use the channel scroll, you will see that it's going to, um, the channel edit is going to follow. It's going to follow the scrolling, even all the way over to the end where the effects and the buses are. It's going to follow all the way over to the master. So I thought that was a really cool addition um, to the whole setup. And again, as you see, we are on, I got all effects eight. So I'm going to go to channel, what channel am I on? I'm on channel two and the matrix. When you select matrix, this controls your sins. Um, you know, your auxiliary sins. And then the mute button is what I use as the on off button. So that makes it. So as you scroll through the channels, those that have it, you know, you'll see the, the faders jump corresponding to the, the channels that do have it, you know. So it makes the functionality of it a lot better. This is not <clears throat> the best controller the way we're using it. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to breathe new life into my Behringer X32 because I really like my Behringer X32. All right. See you guys in the next update. And let me know what you guys think about um, these updates as well as the template itself. Thanks.